How to drive a semi-automatic car. Semi-automatic cars are a great way for both new and experienced drivers to learn about shifting gears. Unlike manual transmission cars, semi-automatics lack a clutch pedal, making them easier to use. To drive, all you need to do is pull the lever when it's time to change the car's mode or gear. This is done by listening to the sound of the car's engine. With a little practice, anyone can learn how to handle a semi-automatic car. Starting the car. Turn the key in the ignition to start the engine. Semi-automatic cars typically don't require any special treatment to start. The parking brake should already be engaged, and you should hold down the brake pedal to ensure the car doesn't move forward as you shift it into gear. In most semi-automatic cars, the parking brake is engaged when the gear shift is set to P. Find the gear shift next to you. Look down to find the gear shift in the center of the car. You'll see a stick labeled with a few letters and symbols. This is what you use to change gears. The symbols will also light up on the dashboard to remind you of what mode the car is in. Some cars have steering wheel paddles used to shift gears. Look for a plus paddle on the right and a paddle on the left. Move the gear shift back if you need to go in reverse. The R on or near the gear shift stands for reverse. Hold down the brake and pull the lever towards the R release the brake and the car will begin to back up. Put the car into drive to engage the gears. Pull the gear shift down to the letter D, which stands for drive. The car will start going forward as soon as you let go of the brake. You'll start out in first gear. When shifting, you'll move the lever past N, which stands for neutral. This isn't a gear and is rarely used because it cuts the engine off from the accelerator. Move the gear shift over to manual transmission. Depending on the car, you'll also see an M or a spot to shift the lever between a plus and sign. This is how you control the gears manually. Move the lever down and over, but don't shift gears yet. Begin driving forward before shifting gears. Let go of the brake, allowing the car to go forward and pick up speed. Listen to the engine and the way the car feels as you drive it. As you begin driving, the car will be in first gear, but you'll need to shift gears as it picks up speed. 